Uh, we're definitely looking forward to it. You know, we look forward to every game. You know, uh, every one we play, we feel like it's going to bring that bring that A game. You know, we're Florida State, so we expect you know people to bring you know bring that A game and play their best. So that's why we got to prepare for every every game. You know, every week. You know, and take everyone serious. So, so we prepare for it just as well as we prepare for any other game. Maryland's defense has been really, really good this year. Do you know anything about them, or have you seen anything from them on film yet so far? Uh, I've seen a little bit, you know, play, uh, you know, quarters, cover one, stuff like that. But, you know, it's our job, you know, just to get prepared for it like we have been doing, you know, all year. So, you know, I'm anxious, you know, I love competition. So, you know, I'm ready to get out there and, you know, compete with my teammates. Looking back on last week, you kind of had a few days to reflect on the BC game. What did it say about your team, the way you guys were able to kind of not only make a comeback from two touchdowns down, but really make it pretty pretty good. I mean, really put a statement on them. Uh, it just show it shows our character. You know, it shows that you know the work that we put in. You know, the situations we you know prepare for during practice. It all works out. You know, and that Jimbo you know knows what he's doing. You know, he has a, a purpose for everything. He put us in situations that we are you know facing games, and you know it showed up that time. You know, and we was able to keep our poise and just go out there and execute. We talked to you even before fall camp started, and you mentioned how you know you, Kenny, and Kelvin were really a brotherhood. That you guys really kind of took everything to heart. You do everything together. It's really showing off on the field right now. Can you tell maybe even from the off season, you know, that's really paying off? Yes, it's definitely uh, you know paying off. You know, and we realized you know as a you know as a team, you know, we need to do things you know outside of the football field just as well as we do things on the football field. You know, it, it runs hands in hand. So everybody's doing great in class and being on top of this stuff in school and it's showing that and it, and it helps you, you know, your brain clear, you know, with all the clutter and cramming and stuff for school. So it show, it's showing, you know. I'm pretty sure you were on the field for the uh, the Hail Mary pass to Kenny, but w what's going through your mind when you see Jameis? I don't know if you guys saw him break the tackles, but when you see the ball go down the field, I mean, you guys just losing your minds, just really happy. Yeah, I saw him when he broke the tackle and, and I ran up field as well, you know, just so he can give somebody a chance. And, you know, just so happened Kenny was further than I was and, you know, he laid the ball up in a you know a perfect spot where only you know Kenny could make a play on it, and he was able to make a play. And you know, just good that that guy has faith in us, you know, just to give us a chance. Your your second touchdown catch, the one that the 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 rope in the, in the corner of the end zone. Talk about that play itself because there aren't too many guys, at least from what we can tell, that can really put the ball pretty much that on the money. Where literally you're all, you're the only guy that can make that catch. Yeah, it was definitely a, a great throw by you know Jameis, and I was able to just come out with the catch and you know you know, keep a foot in so it could be a touchdown. But, you know, it was just all, you know, working on technique and, you know, understanding what type of defense they was in and what coverage, you know, just doing what we practice on every week. And that's something you guys practice a lot, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Jimbo said at a press conference, you all really work on those routes, especially just the getting the feet inbound just at the last second. Yeah, you know, we definitely work on, on routes all the time. You know, us and the quarterbacks are, are like you know, couples. You know, we always spend time together, you know, just to get that timing down and that, you know, feel and build that trust. Um, he talked about the second touchdown, but I would really like you to maybe touch on the first one. First touchdown on the board, how important was that? Can you just take me through that? It was definitely important, you know. All touchdowns are important, you know, and I was just able to, you know, what we worked on at practice was the same thing they showed us, you know, during the game. So, you know, I felt it was going to be there, you know, and once I, you know, ran my route, I saw that he bid on the first move, and, I, and I, after that I knew I was open. And he, you know, gave me a great ball, and I was able to just score. And also love to talk about the streak on um, your five games right now. How is that something that's on your mind or something that you try to just let come to you? It's definitely not on my mind. You know, I always just, you know, let the game come to me, just be aggressive, you know, play fast, play physical as possible, and just be smart, you know. And, you know, practicing hard, you know, for us, you know, it'll all pay off. So, you know, I'm a team first type of guy, so, and I feel like the individual stuff will come along with it. and that's what I tell all my guys, you know, don't worry about individual things, just win as a team and the rest of the stuff will fall in place.